Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special Reunion 2020 episode. What is that? That's when I had a guest on in the past, and I liked him so much I had to bring him right on back. So today's special return guest is Danielle Ickelson, and she's owner over at Dental Accounts at Ease. Danielle, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me back, of course. Oh, man, so excited to talk to you again and excited to catch up, and I love today's topic. So we're going to talk about branding in dentistry. I know that you're doing um, some things that are quite unique over at Dental Accounts at Ease, um, but before we get into that, uh, I do want to talk a little bit more about the company. I don't want to assume that all of our new listeners caught your first episode, so uh, just tell us a little bit more about what you're doing at Dental Accounts at Ease. So we are one of the largest dental billing and practice support uh, companies in dentistry. We support the dentist from a virtual standpoint, whether that be, you know, doing all of the billing, making sure that your claims as the patient gets to the dentist, um, or to, to the insurance company. Um, and then in addition to that, we do insurance verification, uh, consulting, we act as management, we will help con- do your payroll, handle your doctor's payroll, do your credentialing, and anything that needs to happen in the front office that we can do virtually. That's awesome. And uh, and one of the benefits of this, and we're going to go into it, is, and I think this is a great uh, a great transition. So let's get right into um, branding and dentistry. And I'd like you to talk a little bit just more about your system and how you're really helping dentists out. So a big thing that I focus on as a business owner and as um, in a field that is growing, you know, virtual billing in medical and in dental is a growing field. Um, because dentists want to secure themselves from embezzlement, and you are more likely to be embezzled from if you have someone working in your front office that's handling your cash. Whereas if you have someone from a different location and you as the owner are collecting your money in-house, um, you are able to secure that money by being able to just send those explanation and benefits to your biller who happens to be in a billing company. So things that we focus on, you know, while we're out there marketing is we're making sure that the dentists know that their embezzlement risks are lower. We're out there podcasting. We're making sure that people know our name and know our faces. A big issue for me is when you go on to a dental billing company or a medical billing company's website and you don't see who the owner is or you don't see who's running that company. So how do you know who's handling your money? How do you know who's out there, you know, providing your services? Are they former embezzlers? Are they, you know, people that have been fired from huge corporations like Heartland or Boston Dental Group or wherever? So we really focus on the fact that, you know, we are proud of who we are, and then we brand it that way. We go out and we podcast, we go and we speak at, uh, dental conventions, we hold booths at dental conventions, and in addition to that, I have marketers, and my marketers are all over the United States. I have Ismail, who's one of my favorite marketers. Um, he is active in the military as well. He is active duty, but, you know, he focuses on my East Coast, and his personality will leave that mark on them. You know, I always say that you can have anyone out there offering your product that could have a similar product, but did they brand themselves to have a name? It doesn't matter if ABC Dental Billing or whoever is out there doing the same services as me, but did they make their name? Because I made our name, and I continue to make our name, and I continue to stay active in our dental community. I'm the first one to be on Dental Town answering questions as a favor to, you know, Howard Ferran that owns Dental Town, you know, and help him out and any questions that he's getting, you know, a, a ton of that he can't answer at this very moment. Um, or I'm out there on the Facebook group answering questions. I'm also in with my dentist, constantly calling them and checking on them and saying, okay, hey, Dr. Jensen at Surprise Pediatrics, what's going on? What can we help you with? How can I help you with your new office? What can we do for a branding aspect? How can we get your new office name out there? And I think that's really what makes us so much different is we're not just the people behind the computer that you can't see their face. We're right there in front of that computer saying, we're right here. Oh, man, that's awesome. I love it. Tell us a little bit more about your podcast. 
So, you know, I get a podcast with you, which is always a great time. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know, I love supporting I... podcasters, so I get excited. <laughs> I'm like, don't, don't tell me you have a podcast. I'm all about it. <laughs> Yeah, so I actually, um, I call my, my thing, I have kind of like a Regis and Kelly relationship with uh, Howard Ferran, who owns Dentaltown, uh, Ferran Media. Uh, Dentaltown for dentistry is like our Facebook. Um, it is where millions of dental community people are subscribed to that organization, and, you know, they follow it for advice and tips and what's going on in dentistry, and, and fortunately, I have a great relationship with Ferran Media. And I, you know, was able to be on their January, was it 27th podcast. Um, and we talked about my book and we talked about, you know, addiction in the dental field and dental billing. And, and we, we do a broader, uh, broad subject there of dentistry. And I've been so excited that I have been out there podcasting and I'm constantly getting invited by other podcast organizations to, to come on. And I'm kind of selective. I like to stay with people who I believe in their podcast. Like I believe in your podcast. I believe in what Howard's out there doing in dentistry. So I really do try to select who I'm going to, you know, be a guest on their show as. But I just think that, you know, if you're not out there speaking about your products or your services or your company, you know, then you're not doing your company any justice. You're just Mm -hmm. a name. You're not anyone that anyone's going to remember. And I'm all about making sure that I leave my stamp wherever I go. Oh, man, that's awesome. Um, So that being said, Danielle, um, you know, I can talk to you all day long about this. Um, If somebody's listening to this, and they want more information about dental accounts at ease or to connect with you and your podcast, um, what's the best way for them to follow up and to learn more? So, you know, we are dentalbillingcompany.com. It's actually all spelled out as the full three words. Um, And we have a great website. We actually um, do our own website design and our own SEO. Um, And that's also another thing that has made us, you know, where we are in our business standpoint. Um, our SEO, the minute that I hired our SEO guy to take over our SEO department, we became page one and at the latest, like the furthest part we'll go is maybe at the top of page two, but instantly from the first day that our, our website launched. So um, dentalbillingcompany.com, um, if they're wanting to look up about our services or they're needing to boost their websites or need marketing ideas for their own company, um, there's a contact us link. And that actually goes directly to me as the owner. So I do read all the messages as well, along with my marketing team. Oh, man, that's awesome. Well, uh, Danielle, been great having you back on this show for this Reunion 2020 episode. Great times. Uh, thank you for coming back. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, a lean review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're following this on our YouTube channel, um, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. I mean, uh, mission matters, business, and let us know what kind of things you're working on. And Danielle, thanks for coming back on the show.